Hi guys, welcome to yet another wonderful session of learning with prep class. My name is Tuko Olale on Israel, your prep class English tutor, and I am super excited to have you join me in today's session of learning. Now, in today's session, we will be answering question 41 to question 45 from the Jam English 2017 past question. Remember, the purpose of this session is to help you prepare for your forthcoming Jam examination. So, without wasting much time, Kindly take a moment to subscribe to this channel, turn on the post notification so you can be notified whenever we upload any new content. Alright, let's begin. Now for question 41 to question 45, we have an instruction. The instruction reads, in each of the questions 41 to 45, choose the option nearest in meaning to the word or phrase in Italics. In each of the questions 41 to 45, choose the option nearest in meaning to the word or phrase in italics question 41 reads at lies in cherishing the initiative and creative power of each person the phrase in italics here is initiative and creative so with these options is the nearest in meaning to initiative and creative option a potential option b strength option c gift option d mind at lies in cherishing the potential power of each person at lies in cherishing the strength power of each person. At lies in cherishing the gift power of each person. At lies in cherishing the mind power of each person. So this is the nearest in meaning to the initiative and creative. So which of these is the nearest in meaning to initiative and creative? Now, the word initiative refers to the ability to think. The ability to think, to be imaginative. Being creative also refers to the ability to be able to create things out of one's imagination and thoughts. I'll go over that again. Initiative refers to the ability to think, to be imaginative. Being creative also refers to the ability to be able to create things out of one's imagination and thoughts. Now, this sentence implies that art is only possible when people cherish when people make use of their ability to think and be imaginative, when they make use of their initiative and creative power, so which the option is the nearest in meaning to initiative and creative. Now, it is not potential. Potential means having or showing the capacity to develop into something in the future, to be probable, to be possible, to be likely. For example, some people might actually have great potential to do great things in life. That is having or showing the capacity to develop into something in the future. It is likely, it is possible, it is under probability. You have the potential. It is not strength. Strength refers to the quality or state of being physically strong. No. Gift is the natural ability or talent. It is not gift. Initiative has to do what? With the ability to think. Creative power also has to do with the ability to think. Now, gift is the natural ability or talent. Now, mind is the answer to this question because the mind refers to the element of a person. The mind refers to the element of a person that enables them to be aware of the world and their experiences. To think and to feel. The faculty of consciousness and thought. So it is in your mind what that you start imagining. Now, initiative refers to what? The ability to think. Creative power refers to the ability to think, to imagine. And it is in the mind that is when imagination starts taking place. The mind refers to the element of a person that enables them to be aware of the world and their experiences, to think and to feel the faculty of consciousness and thought. This is where the thought takes place, the mind. You think, you start creating art in your mind. So, art lies in cherishing the initiative and creative power of each person. Art lies in cherishing the mind power of each person. The ability to channel the mind to think and imagine. From your thinking, you now bring out your thought on paper with your canvas. So you start thinking of what you want to do in your mind. That is what's your initiative and the creative power. It refers to the mind power. Mind power is one of the strongest and most useful powers you possess. Your thoughts are the main ingredient of this power. And when you add to them focus and emotion, thoughts become powerful and can affect your reality. 
So when you add focus and emotion to your thoughts, you can become powerful and you can affect your reality. You bring what you have thought of to life by adding focus and emotions to your thoughts that you thought of in your mind. The thoughts that pass through your mind are responsible for almost everything that happens in your life. So, all of the art that we can see and relate to it actually was started from the mind. The thoughts started from the mind. So, he adds focus and emotions to it to bring what that thought to life. The initiative that you have thought of, that thing that you have thought of, that you have imagined with your creative power, with your mind power, you bring it to life. So, the answer to this question is option D. Art lies in cherishing the mind power of each person. Whatever you can conceive in your mind, you can bring it to life. Art lies in cherishing the initiative, the ability to think, and creative power, the ability to imagine. Art lies in cherishing the initiative and creative power of each person, the mind power. You think from your mind, you start thinking from your mind, you start imagining, you start being creative from your mind. So the answer is option D. Alright, moving on, question 42. Ugo has often been described as belligerent. So which of these options is the nearest in meaning to belligerent? Option A, attractive. Option B, patient. Option C, innocent. Option D, combative. So which of these options is the nearest in meaning to belligerent? Now, belligerent means to be hostile and aggressive. It means to be hostile and aggressive. Ugo has often been described as belligerent, always wanting to fight, always hostile, not friendly, always aggressive. Now, attractive means to be good looking, to be appealing to the senses. Patience means to have endurance, to not be easily provoked, to be tolerant. Innocence means to be guiltless, to be blameless. Combative means to be aggressive, always ready to fight. Also means to be quarrelsome. So the nearest meaning to belligerent, as we can see, is combative. Belligerent means to be hostile and aggressive. Combative means to be aggressive, always ready to fight. Combative also means to be quarrelsome. So the answer to this question is option D. The nearest meaning to belligerent is option D. Combative. It goes as often be described as combative. All right. Moving on to the next question, question forty-three. Remember. We had selected the option that is nearest in meaning to the word in Italian. The nearest in meaning to the word in Bo. Question 43 reads I cannot understand why Ali should serve in that moral bond administration. I cannot understand why Ali should serve in that moral bond administration. The word in bold here is moral bond. So, which option is the nearest in meaning to moral bond? Option A, oppressive. Option B, prodigal. Option C, crumbling. Option D, purposeless. So which of these options is the nearest in meaning to moribund? Now, moribund means to be dying, to be declining. I cannot understand why Ali should serve in that declining administration. I cannot understand why Ali should serve in that dying administration. Option A, oppressive means to be cruel, expressing authoritarian treatment. Option B, prodigal means to be wasteful, extravagant. To be lavish. Option C. Crumbling means to be breaking or falling apart. Option D. Purposeless means to be without purpose, without aim or plan. Now, the nearest in meaning to moribund is crumbling. Moribund means to be dying, to be declining. Crumbling means to be breaking or falling apart. So I cannot understand why Ali should serve in that crumbling administration. That administration that is dying. That administration that is breaking or falling apart. So the nearest in meaning to moribund is option C, crumbling. I cannot understand why Ali should serve in that moribund in that crumbling administration. That's dying. That's declining administration. That administration that is falling apart. Alright, moving on to the next question, question 44. Remember we had selected the option that is nearest in meaning to the word in bold. Or the word nearest in meaning to the word in italics. Question 44 reads. The witness provided a monstrous account of the event. The witness provided a monstrous account of the event. The word in bold is monstrous. Now, option A, supportive. Option B, tragic. Option C, shocking. Option D, verbatim. So, which of these is the nearest in meaning to monstrous? 
the witness provided a monstrous account of the event. Now, remember, monstrous is gotten from monster. So anything that is a monster is not good. It is terrible. So monstrous means to be frightening, to be terrible, to be horrible, to be appalling. The witness provided a frightening account of the event. Now, supportive means to be encouraging, to be caring, to be sympathetic. Tragic means to be disastrous, to be dreadful, appalling, to be terrible. Shocking means to cause a feeling of surprise and dismay. Verbatim means to be word for word, letter for letter. Now, the nearest meaning to monstrous is tragic. Monstrous is frightening, it is terrible. Tragic is also terrible, appalling, dreadful. So, the witness provided a terrible account of the event, a tragic account of the event. So, the nearest meaning to monstrous is tragic. Monsters are frightening. They are not good to behold. Anything that is tragic is frightening. Anything that is tragic is bad. It is not good to behold. So, the witness provided a monstrous, a tragic account of the event. Alright. Moving on to the next question, question 45. Remember, we had selected the option that is nearest meaning to the word in bold. Nearest meaning to the word in Italy. Question 45 reads. The chairman advised the participants to follow conventions in stating their points. The chairman advised the participants to follow conventions in stating their points. The word in bold and in italic here is convention. So which of these options is the nearest meaning to convention? Option A, eloquent. Option B, advice. Option C, prudent. Option D, tradition. Now, the word convention means a way in which something is usually done protocol, a custom, the way things are actually done. So the chairman advised the participants to follow convention, to follow protocol, to follow what the custom in stating their points, follow the way it has always been done. Now, eloquent means to be fluent, to have good oratory skills. Advice means guidance, recommendation, help, direction. Prudence means acting with or showing care and thought for the future. Tradition refers to a pattern. To follow a routine, a way of behavior. The nearest meaning to convention is tradition. Tradition is a way of behavior. Now, the answer to this question is tradition. Tradition refers to a pattern. To follow a routine, a way of behavior. Remember, convention means a way in which something is done. That is also what a way of behavior. So, the answer to this question is option D. The chairman advised the participants to follow convention, to follow tradition, to follow the usual protocol, the usual routine in stating their points. And with that, we've come to the end of this wonderful session. If you enjoyed this video, click on the like button. Do not forget to subscribe to this channel. Also, drop your questions in the comment section. Do not forget to share this with your friends and loved ones. Thank you for your time. Enjoy the rest of 